across Europe in museums lie some of the greatest African treasures. These are fantastic artworks worth probably trillions of US dollars that were stolen from Africa. Yeah, stolen by these uh, thieving colonial masters. So even though it would be really nice for me to want to talk about you know how this thieving colonialist should return our artwork i would rather dwell on one of the most iconic artworks coming out of africa and that would be none other than the beautiful mask of queen idia of course uh, this is a wooden mask and this is nothing in comparison to the actual mask which is uh, very beautiful and uh, which is made out of ivory and which is actually larger and way more valuable than this. Now, the mask is special because unlike a bunch of uh, other artifacts that we have coming out of uh, Africa, this is a mask of an actual person who lived. So Queen Idia was the queen mother in the Benin Kingdom. She's said to have lived in the 15th century. So Queen Idia is renowned to also be a warrior as well as a mystic. Yeah, and she was a master of the mystic arts and helped her son Esigye become Oba after the death of her husband. Now, as it would happen, when a powerful king died and having left many sons, there would always be some form of puzzle for who takes over power. And in this case, Queen Idia ensured that her son emerged leader and strengthened the place of the Queen Mother in the kingdom. Because not only did she help her son fight, but she also helped her son rule over the kingdom. And today she is remembered for the role she played in the spiritual life and in the development of the kingdom of Benin, making it one of the greatest kingdoms that Africa had once upon a time. Well, the kingdom of Benin, unlike uh, lots of other African kingdoms that encountered the West still survive till today. And there have been talks by African countries, especially Germany, to return some of these artworks that uh, were stolen from the Benin Kingdom. And we hope to see this happen, you know, not just a bunch of artworks coming in every now and then. It would be really nice to have, you know, all of the artworks returned because that's the only way to honor this culture. That's the only way to honor these people. And then coming from Western powers who teach us so much about human rights, about uh, justice, about democracy, and yet retaining parts of the autocratic past. I think we need to bring an end to the hypocrisy. And while I would not be analyzing the features of this mask, which by the way is very stunning and beautiful, so I want to point out real quick that there are two furs on the forehead, which has clarification marks which the queen bore, which could have been a site through which uh, some mystic objects were introduced into the body or some form of treatment uh, was given at a time of ailment or whatever it was. Well, Queen Idia isn't here to tell us uh, what the scarification marks were, but in case you are curious about scarifications, then maybe you want to check out uh, this video that I made uh, some time back about uh, scarifications and why Africans do them. So, okay, so that's basically it about one of the most iconic artworks coming out of Africa. So, do well to give us a like, leave comments, and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And let's see in the next video. Go check out more videos, guys.